Hey guys, what is up? Matt here with Mad Matt Fishing back with another video. And you guys made me wondering, what the heck is in this box? Well, we're gonna break it open and find out right now. And why are we in the woods in the middle of nowhere? mystery box guys got this guy off of uh, Facebook marketplace it's a mystery box that's supposed to be for dick sporting goods so it's it's like those Amazon mystery boxes but a dick sporting goods style one and it's a $50 box and you're supposed to get like two times the amount minimum of what you paid for so it's gonna be a raw reaction right here and I'm kind of excited to look in this guy Okay, we got wrapping right here, of course. Oh boy. Oh boy. So, some sunscreen. You can't go wrong with sunscreen. Right there. First thing in the box. And uh, let's turn this camera around and uh, let's take out one by one. Alright, I'm just going to grab what's on the bottom because it's big and bulky here. And it looks like it comes with a couple bags as well. It is a uh, tackle bag here by Spider Wire. <laughs> but a yellow Spider Wire bag there with a couple of boxes inside there. Nothing inside the boxes. Just an empty box. Let's see what size they are. Little style boxes. You can see it's still new. So um, <laughs> that's, that's item number two. Looks like we get a rod holder. Good for the like, catfishing and stuff I've been trying to do. Rod holder. Another rod holder. All right, all right, all right. A fish mouth spreader. Not sure exactly what that's for. I'm guessing maybe like pike or musky or something that really swallowed and you gotta get the mouth open there. So, so far not too impressed. I mean, the bag is kind of cool, but um, other than that, nothing crazy yet. We get a little umbrella rig here. That's kind of cool. For some of your soft plastics right there, you can rig up some swim baits. Little yum umbrella double up rig. That's kind of cool. Already up next. This is pretty cool. I like these a lot. I don't I have these, but I don't have this color. This is the Lunker Hunt Link. It's a topwater bait. It has like two little bait fish jointed right there. And like a bait fish color right here. It's called it's in bluegill, 4.5 inch. That's pretty cool right there. I like that a lot. Um oh boy. The double plopper by river to sea i have a couple of these and i think i've maybe used them like once since i've had them um expensive bait kind of cool um i already have two of them maybe i can do this for like a giveaway in the future right there drop it down in the comments if you guys would be interested in to win one of these um great action i just really haven't given them a chance yet but um good open water bait you don't want to be throwing that into cover these guys will get tangled up pretty easy but that's pretty neat right there oh man I haven't used this stuff in ever. This is Gulp Alive right here. So this is a mantis shrimp. So this is more of a saltwater style plastic right here, but I'm sure we could represent a crawfish with it or something. But um, pretty neat. It's been years since I've used Gulp Alive stuff. Up next, a Ben Parker hair jig right here. So I think this is kind of like a saltwater one as well. Let me know in the comments below, I'm not really sure. But um, kind of cool hair jig. I've been trying to get into those a little bit more here and there. All right, up next we got some line here. Force. Tough line. I've never heard of this before. Um, no clue. 20 pound test. 6 pound mono EQ. I'm not sure exactly what kind of line this is right here. Tough line force combines cutting edge raw materials and state of the art American breeding technology. Strength and abrasion resistant right here. Kind of neat right there. Up next, I've actually heard of these guys and I haven't used any of their stuff. Doomsday Tackle right here. Fish to the end, watermelon red. It's called the Doomsday Roku 5.4, like a little stick bait style worm. That's actually kind of interesting right there. It comes in an eight count watermelon red, 5.4 inches. That's pretty neat right there. 
I figured we'd get some of these guys, but um, some sinkers right there. That'll be good for like the river and stuff that we go to. And uh, we got some steel leaders, which is good for pike and muskie. So I'm okay with that. We get a random little bobber here. <laughs> Line cutter for jig fishermen, eye buster. Removes excess paint from the jig eyes. That's pretty cool. I've actually, I wanted one of these um, the other day when I was on the boat because the paint on my jig head was uh, sealed over the hole and I kept using another hook to try to dig it out. And this guy right here has a hook on the end between those clippers right there and you just squeeze that in the eyelet. That's actually really cool. This is actually my favorite thing I got out of the box right here. I'm going to be using that a lot. All right, we got two last things from VMC. This is the gliding jig, flashing action. Okay, okay. Um, very interesting. Never seen these before. <laughs> Says it's best suited for shallow water. These are really interesting. I'll let you guys look at the back here really quick. You guys can get a good look at that. That's really interesting. This could be a good skipping bait, huh? Well, I don't even know, guys. I've never seen this before. Let me know in the comments below if anybody's used that. That is interesting. VMC gliding jig. So it has like a jig head with a flat surface on the back. And then the little, that little hook right there. That could be really good for skipping. I don't know if that's what it's for, but that's interesting. And last but not least, these are always good too. Some VMC. The wacky weedless hooks right here. Um, looks like it's size 2. Comes in a 5 count right there. Well guys, that is everything for the mystery box. We're in the woods. No one has questions. And uh, we got some cool stuff. I'm actually, um, I'm pretty pleased. We spent 50 bucks on the box. Um, let me know in the comments below if you think the $50 was worth it. Um, I got some stuff I don't really, not going to use really. And um, some stuff that I would definitely use, like this Lunker Hunt link here. My favorite tool right there for getting uh, paint out your jig eyes. That's actually one of my favorite things. But um, we got some stuff like the bag and stuff we might not use. And I think I'll give that River to Sea Whopper Plopper away if you guys want. And maybe even that bag as well. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the little mystery box. Drop comments down below if you guys want to see me do another one. They have a $100 box as well. So leave some comments down below if you guys would like to see that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This is Matt, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.